for my wife and I too. We can, I know what's going to make her laugh, but I, she also can turn me from incredibly happy to the angriest I've ever been. Oh yeah. In about. That's my gift. Half a second. That's my gift. Half a second. She knows, <laughs> she knows. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. Sattva Mattress Company. I just bought another Sattva mattress. Why? Because I needed a brand new full-size mattress for my kiddos. And I went to the company I love and trust, Sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A.com. Go there for your next mattress. They have excellent children's mattresses. Um, and if you go to sattva.com slash the shit, you'll get $200 off your next Sattva purchase. I love this company. I find them to be reliable, high quality. The quality is impeccable. Everything is made in the United States of America. Organic cotton, soft, luxurious. You're buying a luxury product for a fraction of the cost. It makes it, I don't even know why anybody goes anywhere else to buy their mattresses. They deliver it. They set up the mattress. They take away the old mattress for a nominal fee. Literally every one of the mattresses in our home now is Sattva. And I buy them because I want to support this company. Sattva.com slash the shit for $200 off your next purchase. Try it out. What it do? Hi, I like your white t-shirt. You look very 1950s. Yeah, you white look, t-shirts. You pack a put a uh, pack of lucky strikes on your arm. Yeah, like um, Back to the Future. Yeah, he looks like a cat. Goes back to 55. Yeah, Could it's a cool imagine? aesthetic. It is a cool aesthetic, but that would suck to not be able to blow loads in chicks because I don't think they what? had birth control yet. <laughs> Because back then, if you got preggers, you just got married. They were probably so scared of that. So scared. Could you imagine how awful that is to be a teenager in 1955? Yeah. And no abortion, like it, like now. No abortion in certain states. But How about that? Like That's like the biggest hit. You know, that movie, is, it holds up. Incre- it's an incredible movie. Yeah. It's so good. And there's that one racial exchange. Do you remember it? When they go, they... Uh, they throw Michael J. Fox into the trunk yes. of the black band's yes. car. Yes. <laughs> throw him in there. And then the one of the white kid goes, What are you looking at? <laughs> and then <laughs> yeah. like five Jeez. black guys get out of the car. Yeah. And they're like, Who are you calling Peckerwood? Peckerwood. <laughs> and they run, they run after. They're like, Ugh. Yeah. It's like such an old outdated. And that's like those are like prison terms. Yeah. It's a fucking wild scene. Peckerwood. Though. Peckerwood is That's still is still said in mm-hmm. in in prison. It's a perfect it. term for whitey though. Peckerwood's good. Yeah, I mean, Pecker, Peckerwood. It only offends guys in prison. <laughs> Nobody else cares. That's the scene right there. Yeah, and they're all smoking weed in yeah. the car. And yep. So like. Mm-hmm. And then that is Chuck Berry's cousin. Yeah, I know. Because he's so, like, here's a new sound. Here's that sound you're looking for. And it's his song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then all I could think about was Chuck Perry pissing on that girl. Me too. And farting. And he's like, did I fart? Yeah. And he goes, sometimes I do that. Yeah. And then he goes, I kiss you, but your breast smells like, like piss. piss. Yeah. That was nice. It might be the best sex video of all. The fact that that's mm-hmm. not celebrated more mm. I know I feel like it kind of came and went I mean he pisses all in her mouth mm. and then when he's getting blown hmm. he farts <laughs> and asks her if he farted you know what I mean it's, it's clear as day he's like and he goes did I fart <laughs> and she's like yes and he's like sometimes I do that mm. he's playing coy with yeah. her evil coy it's what you do to me when you pee on me in the shower and then you pretend like you don't know what you're doing. And then you're I haven't like, done that in a long time. And then you would go like, oh my God, do you smell that? You do that to me a lot. Long time. Well, we haven't showered together in a minute. You've been on the long, road long showering time. with the Kendall from Peloton. Fucking, I would sign up for that class. <laughs> Stop it. What's up, Kendall? How much a do you post think Peloton ride I was, shower? I was gonna say, how many how much do you think Kendall could get? Do you know what would happen to their <laughs> stock price if she was like, and one lucky rider will take a shower with me after this cut? <laughs> <I know. clears throat> oh my life. 
No, but she and seems she sweet. No, I think she I, seems I know. sweet. I'm just joking. I think she's lovely. I think they she's need to great. hire more whores. I think they're all too sweet. <laughs> they're all too classy. Yeah. It would be great if they were like. Yeah, trampier. Real Trashier. trash. Yeah. And they're like, come on, you fucking assholes. Yeah. <laughs> come on, you fat fucks. And then they really chastise you. Yeah. That would be really funny, actually. Turn that resistance up. Make that big dick work. Come on, like, chunky. Because cause, cause I'm so stupid when I. Like, is there? There's a camera that's on your, on the treadmill. There is. Mm-hmm. A and camera. There's a camera. Why is there a camera? That's what I asked. So I googled it. Yeah. And it's like so that you can see yourself working out. And I was like, that sounds sus, as the kids say. Go ahead and Google it. <laughs> see if I'm being retarded. You guys are all looking at me like there goes crazy Christina with these wild allegations. Look at what Peloton. There's a camera, for you. And it's like, so you can see yourself working out. And I'm like, I don't trust that. I'm going to cover that right up. Because what if Kendall can see me? What if they see you jerking off while you're I... on the treadmill? <laughs> can you jerk off and be on a treadmill? Sure. I've There's a it. camera. See? It's at the top. That's it. That's so strange. I know. I don't Why do understand. they want to watch you riding your bike? Well, I don't know if it's on the bike, but it's definitely on the treadmill. And it's like, so you can watch yourself work Peloton out ride. so that you can see yourself in the screen. I'm Who like, the fuck wants to see themselves on the screen? That's bullshit. So sus. Yeah. What do you think, Annie? So you can jerk off to Kendall while she's taking you on a ride. <laughs> so she can see you jerking yeah. off. Oh, look at Tom's big load. <laughs> Don't forget, Tom, we got a couple more sprints coming up. <laughs> but I kind of wish they could see you and then, and then yell at you. Yeah. Cause she basically lean in. You know, you're fat. <laughs> you're like, fat dad 102. Pick up the pace, chunky. You trying to get into a nightclub or not? I mean, <laughs> not with that bod. Uh, yeah, because. I believe in it. I believe in talking to people like that, you know. You do to me. I don't talk like that to you. You did when I was doing my PT and you looked at me and you're like, come on. I just said your squats were bullshit. Oh, my God. So I was sick like three weeks ago. Like laying in bed, like hacking, sick. And you come in and you see me laying in the dark at like 3 p.m. And you go, you going to work out? I was like, um, I'm sick. So you're not going to exercise today? I was like, oh my God. Who are you? Who the fuck do you think you are? No days off, never quitting. Hitting it every day. You said, well, I don't feel well. And I was like, all right, well, maybe get up and do something. You might feel better. I mean... Stop it, Annie. Don't you dare. Don't encourage I'm this I'm just motivated. Psychotic... Good coach. No, but you're sick. You need to rest. Rest I is was, important. You know, I, was, I, was, I was channeling my Sean Nix, you know? I that's toured, how I toured the, I, I toured the world with this guy. Do you know what it's like to have that guy around 24-7? No. If I was like, I don't feel well, he'd be like, what the fuck are we doing today? Jesus. I was like. Well, let me tell you, my Stacia, Pat How do you well, think you get this, like? Oh, you're jacked. Yeah, he's jacked. You look great, Tom. You look great. Yeah, yeah. let's clap for Tom. Yeah. Thank you very much. It is seriously a triumph. Thank you. Thank you. What you've done with this bod of yours. It is amazing. You look so great. Thank you. Still going. Still going. This is my difference this time. Okay. In 20, end of 2017, going into 2018, I'd lost a bunch of weight. Everybody was like, man, you look good. You know what I did? I was like, great. I'm. I'm here now. And I just fucking stopped. Yeah. And I regressed. And I put weight back on. Yeah. Because I accepted the fact that I was like, this is good. And I think you have to just constantly set new goals. That's what I've learned about fitness. You have to constantly and, set new goals. And Tom, I would argue about life. One cannot be complacent. You yeah. can't ever say, oh, I've reached the mountaintop. I'm great. I agree. You have in to anything. constantly be flogging yourself, telling yeah. yourself what a piece of shit you are in every area. And I know the therapist tells me that's not good. Yeah. But it fucking works. It and does. It you keeps me honest. You can't feel like you've like I've never felt like I've honestly arrived in stand up. You know, I've never been like, I'm I'm there. Like I, you always are like, oh, this isn't good enough. And and because of that mindset, I've actually always progressed i think you know as a stand-up because yeah. i've never been like oh, i've arrived i'm, I'm here done. you know yeah, you just always are like i gotta go to the next thing i gotta figure out the next thing yes but with fitness i have been like oh i'm good yeah 
And then that's when everything falls apart. It's like Christian Bale said in American Psycho. You can always be thinner, richer, better looking. Yeah. And it's true. You can always be richer, thinner, better looking, and in better shape. It's like uh, always. Chris, uh, Christina Rose, the porn star, said to me. Oh. <laughs> That's my hero. That's the guy. That's who you listen to. You know what she said to me? Oh, okay. What did she say to you? I, I got to do this interview with her one time, and I said, how, how big is too big? Oh, my God. When did you do this interview? Um, uh, if, you know, years ago. Uh, if, of a dick, like no, no, no. K R. Well, here's what he gets. There. Here's your mom. T I N A. No. <laughs> Hello, Nadav. That chick. Hanukkah's coming up. Oh no. Yeah. You talk to that girl. So I asked her on camera. I said, "How how big is too big?" And she goes, "Dicks are like money and sunglasses." You can never have too much, and they can never be too big. It's called truth. Knowledge. Christina Rose, I Knowledge. still remember. Knowledge. She's right. Bitch is right. Yeah. I give it up to Christina Rose. I was like, never. She was like, never. You got to put that on the wall, bro. Can yeah. you, Can we put that in like the YMH mural? We can get it on the mural. <laughs> it's got to be on the mural. Yeah. That's, say it again. Dicks yeah. are like money and sunglasses. Or maybe with sunglasses and money. They can never be too big. You can never have too much. I love it. This woman's a fucking genius. Oh, I've seen her work. She is a genius. <laughs> What's her speciality? <laughs> What's her jam? She's a savage. She's in that well, savage category. Like she goes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like that. Is there a baseball in her ass? Ten a guys at a time. Yeah. You know, every hole. Yeah. Just all systems. Can I tell you something? Sometimes I think. Yeah. And this is a really warped thought that I have with yeah, you. Yeah. Because you love these ladies of the porn so much. I don't love them so much. You're already... Maybe if I did a porn, maybe you would love me more. Is that Jesus accurate? Jesus Christ. What a sad fucking thought. You would love, maybe you would love me as much as uh, I don't love them. Christina Rose. If I put a baseball bat in my pussy in my house. I met her 12 ass. years ago. Maybe if I fucked like 12 guys at once, you'd finally... That's really your thought? Um, there's some kernel of truth to it. I go, uh, yeah, because I'll be like, oh, my husband like really. Likes I don't that. really like that though. But that's this is the the, the, Kendall the from Peloton. This is the really flaw like in your. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm sharing it. I think it's amusing, because okay. it's funny to be so messed up mentally. Don't God. you know that mental illness is fun? That's what the whole show is, right? Jesus Christ. You don't have fucked up thoughts? I do have fucked up thoughts, but that one's super twisted. I know. That's why it's fun but to then share. You went, you went from porn girl to Kendall, the Peloton instructor. Right. What does she have to do with... Well, she's more accessible. So the porno girl is like a pipe dream, right? But what if Kendall is... I think it's a lot easier to get to the porn girl than Kendall. <laughs> <laughs> like, I could just be like, I have three grand. <laughs> 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 three grand yeah. that's a fortune yeah gosh i wouldn't mind if you did a scene with like rocco i would i'd accept that you know i think you deserve it you know why why rocco because you know you're not going to experience anything like that anywhere that's else that's once in a lifetime that's what i'm saying that's but there'd lifetime. be a rule it would hurt real bad and that's the rule it's got you you got to give up anal no i can't but i don't and, like it and i don't sign off on it but i don't want it that's i don't like anal that's the rule. First of all, Rocco's not going to accept no for an answer either. <sighs> then I don't... Hey, you really had me considering it. I literally went... I, for a second there, I was like, okay, yeah, maybe. Like, I thought about it. Wait, Google Rocco Sofredi. I want to see his peener one more time. <laughs> Let me just look at it. Let me just look at it. Look Let at me it. see what I'm working at. Working yeah. with. Yeah. That's definitely... There's multiple images. Yeah, that's... That's not Rocco, is it? No, that's, that's, that's not him. But that is him there. You know what I hate? How about the one where it's going right there? Yeah. That's not going in my ass. I hate when they wear tennis shoes and socks and they're naked. It looks terrible. I don't think so. I can't do this. I don't, why not? I back out. Why? It's going to be a memorable evening. <laughs> <laughs> because I've already had two children down there. It's already... So? 
Look right there. No, it's too That's much. Him. It's too much. You got to start like that with it's a nice so kiss. It's so much. It's so much dick. It's so much dick. It's way too much penis than anybody needs. Yeah. It's so much dick. What do you say? I thought you could never have too much. Yeah, no. I don't know. <laughs> that That's, That's Christina lot. Rose. I yeah. ain't Christina P. <laughs> I'm, you I'm more really of wouldn't a give it a shot. Man, I mean that is so much dick, and like. Honestly, I have birthed two children. Yeah. I'm not into stretching it out down there. It's already you gotta been do that stretched. To him too. It you got to do that. No, the balls in the face. He's so That's not just sad. balls. <laughs> That's horrible. That's my nightmare right there. Babe, that is my nightmare. That yeah. is my fucking nightmare. I'm just to describe to the listeners, this is my <laughs> nightmare. I'm laying on my back on the side of the bed. He would my make you feel off. different. He Can would, I describe it to the yeah. listeners, sure, please? Sure. My head is dangling off the mattress. You're sitting on my. It's not me. It's Rocco Sofredi. No, I can't even yeah. picture. But I'm saying my nightmare is you doing this. You're sitting on me with your asshole on my mouth, but yeah. you're facing me. Does that make sense? Yeah. You're so the balls are all. over your nose and stuff. Yeah. That is a nightmare. I like the description of the one. Is that Rocco Sofredi? Dick too big? Because <laughs> you know that that scene has her going, um. I know that's what, known as a rhetorical question. Yeah, yeah. Look at him shaking hands here. Hi, I'm Rocco. <laughs> I'm going to shake that hand. Jesus. At hey, the court you can, of the Rocco Sofredi Bacon. <laughs> what? You can buy his dick there, too. <coughs> Maybe you start there. Why don't you get one for me for Christmas? Yeah. <laughs> start practicing. You really wouldn't... Um, Give anal a shot with him? No. But he would, he would, he's gentle. He would, he would, no, no, eventually he's not. He's not but he would, gentle. No, but he starts, he's always like very warm That's to start. lies. No, to start he is. He's all, he's like, oh, he's going to like hold your face, kiss, hug. He's like, you're so beautiful. He's like very like seductive and sweet to start. And then he like eases you into like, I yeah, can't. he would, he would ease you. I don't buy this. I swear to you. Tom, Tom. He eases them into it. And then when they're like this, he's like, it's okay. It's okay. It's not, it's not hurt. And then you're like, ah, and then he's like, no. And he guys just kind of ramps you into it. he gaslights you? Yeah. He, and then you're like, He oh, works right. up to the wild stuff. He's such a liar. He's, yeah. just, he's just one of those guys. I think you should give it a shot. It. This holiday season, if you're looking for a unique gift that inspires curiosity, travel, and culture, give the gift of Babbel. Babbel is the language learning app that's sold more than 10 million subscriptions. Thanks to Babbel's addictively fun and easy bite-sized language lessons, you'll finally be able to discover the wonder that comes with learning a new language. I'm learning Spanish. I, I can't wait. I want to go to Spain and actually speak Spanish. That is my goal for this year. And with Babbel, you only need 10 minutes to complete a lesson so you can start having real life conversations in a new language in as little as three weeks. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 150 language experts and voiced by real native speakers, not computers. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. There's so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can get access to podcasts, games, video stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash mom. That's babbel.com slash mom for up to 55% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. All right, let's do the opening clip. You ever been talked into it? Okay. okay. What do you think about Ripple? Well, I mean, I think it's too centralized, but I definitely want to meet Chris Larson. <laughs> Welcome to your mom's house. Meow, 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 meow. What are you doing? 
<laughs> I definitely want to meet Chris Larson. And then she goes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Chris has got fans out there. This is crazy. Those old smarty pants now. Yeah, I can't believe them. it. Chicks yeah. are now into Chris Larson. Very cool. This is amazing. Very cool. Yeah, those two girls look really nice and friendly and... They look sweet. Like they'd be willing to do stuff with Chris Larson. I bet they would take a scene with Rocco. Definitely. Definitely. Like, oh my God, I caught a sad bag. Oh, I just got to make sure. No, because of like Skeetle and... <laughs> okay. Um, no, this is a stupid thought, but yeah. hear me out. Yeah, let me hear it. What comes first? The porno girl look or the porno girl? So meaning like I know the those girl. are adult actresses. Did yeah. they look like this before they did scenes? Wait, these girls? Yeah. These aren't, aren't porno girls. Are you sure? They're porn? No, they're not porn. No. no. Well, what are they? They're crypto girls. <laughs> yeah. With that laugh. You thought these were porn girls? Of course. You guys are messing with me. They're not porn girls. <laughs> Those are definitely a porno girl. It's an ad for blockchain smartphone. No. Yeah, they're just models. They're not porno no, girls. No, those are porno chicks. They're not Guys, porno I've chicks. I've been on YMH long enough to know a hoe when I see a hoe. Oh my God. Are you sure? Yes. Let me see them talking again. Okay. Don't lie to me. What do you think about Ripple? Well, I mean, I think it's too centralized, but not I definitely girl. want to meet Chris Larson. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Yeah. Chris makes them nervous. I guess. Yeah. I didn't realize that He's Chris. He's like, have you ever met the second smartest guy at the office? <laughs> <laughs> <White> studios. <laughs> he did lose his title to chat. He did. He did. Um, we were doing what animals we all look like. Yeah. So here's the animal we came up with for Chris. Yeah. Bobcat. Bobcat. Yeah? What do you think, Madoff? I don't think you were here for that discussion. <coughs> Chris Larson's a bobcat? I think so. Google bobcat. He looks exactly like a bobcat. You think so? Well, you also uh, said it differently. We didn't say what they look like. It was what they feel like, like what their vibe is. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. I'd I also, agree with that. I think, yeah, right? Yeah. His vibe is like dodgy and like sketchy and like he's not, <laughs> yeah. I don't fucking know you. I don't trust you. He oh, looks like a, like a house cat, but he's got claws. Yeah. 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 So what, what were the other animals? Um, okay. So any, are you ready for any's yeah. animal? Ferret. A ferret? Yeah. You're okay. a ferret, right? He's totally a ferret. He's got ferret vibes yeah. like crazy. I got ferret energy. I'm always fucking around. <laughs> I look stupid dressed. as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me. Let me see it. I it like that. That's a good one for you. That's yeah, me. this is totally it. I'm always fucking around, man. Look at this thing. That thing can't not fuck around <laughs> if it tried. <laughs> it can't. What did you get for Nadav? Well, Nadav wasn't here. Do, do you remember what Nadav did? We, we said beaver. Yeah. That tracks. Yeah. That tracks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, I need to get all this wood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not how we said it, but sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, give Zolo one? Like, industrious and building. Yeah. Very, very resourceful. Um, yeah. Josh Zolo is a, a retriever, a golden retriever. That's good. He's such a golden retriever. He's so got good sweet. energy. Yeah. yeah. Like, always good to be around. Yeah. Good vibes only. Good vibes. Yeah. Like, just sweet. Hi, Zolo. Hi, yeah. baby Zolo. Yeah. yeah. I might get a golden retriever and name it Zolo. I fucking think you should. Yeah. Um, and then did we have a one for Chad, for Smart Chad? Yeah. He didn't like it, though. He didn't like, he didn't like it. it. He didn't like it. What was it? They said it was a sloth. <laughs> Sloth's got a bad name, but they're they're cool as fuck. That's the thing. <laughs> Sloths are fucking fun. dope. They're dope. I just knew he wouldn't like it. <laughs> it's fine. I'll take it. See you know how he said that? Then he goes, yeah. it's fine. I'll take it. Just like a sloth. Yeah. It's fine. I'll Look take it. Look at that face. It. Yeah. That's totally him. That does yeah. look like me a little bit. A yeah. little bit. That does look like me. Yeah. And what were you? Well, I'm a, what am I? You were a peacock. A peacock. Yeah, I see that. I'm definitely a bird. I feel very bird-like. Yeah, there I am with my plumage. Yeah. I'm but I'm a male peacock, so I'm a trans 
peacock. All right, what am I? Because the men are fancy. Well, it's kind of obvious. And here's the deal is that we didn't want to be trite with yours and like, but the truth is I've seen you scratch your back in the house like a bear. Like you literally rake your back up and down. Yeah. You're vicious killer. You're mean. You look cuddly and cute, but you're not. Your teeth are large. Your eyes are black and terrifying. What? You eat salmon a lot. Yeah. That's you. You're terrifying. You're terrifying. You scare a lot of people away. The villagers don't like it. Just the store. Oh, my God. Ask it for my info. But Fuck what an- you. But-, my <laughs> but what animal do you feel like? There's the animal you feel like and the animal other people think you look like. Yeah, that's true. There's two different stories. Because I feel like a dog. I feel like a Brussels Griffon. But yeah. they're telling me I'm a peacock. So these are two different things. <laughs> yeah. What do you feel like? Mm. It's true. What do I feel like? You're cozy. You're sloth-like, too. Like, you've got, like, chill, fucking, I'd rather be asleep now energy. Yeah. Maybe a some kind of a burrowing animal, like a mole. I like when I see, like, gorillas chilling at the zoo. You are a gorilla. They chill. <laughs> they chill hard. <laughs> chill hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> chill like fire. I feel like, yeah, I feel like they're kind of grumpy. <laughs> Dude, that's totally... It's totally yeah. yeah. And they only get upset every once in a while. But when they do, yeah, well, you, you better notice. fucking yeah. watch out, homie. How strong is a silverback? I do want to know that. <laughs> you are a gorilla. I like them. Let's see. They got to be so fucking strong, right? Oh, yeah, dog. Let's see. The average weight is 600 pounds. Yeah. Uh, when compared fucking to the, 600 pounds, dude. Four to nine times more powerful than the average person. <laughs> So they could fucking, oh my God. According to the Guinness Book of Records, the silver record can lift 1,800 pounds of dead weight. <laughs> dead Ooh. weight. They're shy and reserved for humans. So much that they will attack only if they are surprised or threatened. If a human made any unexpected movement, silverback would charge That's with you. terrifying roar. That's you. You attack with Due roar. Due to the size, strength, nail, the result is uh, still the same... Bear victory both ways. However, it will not be two hit fight the bear. Oh, this is comparing a bear hitting a gorilla. Okay. Uh, the common misconception is that even the biggest and strongest people call the mountain, who is truly impressive, compare what? So no matter how much, what the fuck is this getting into? Here comes the gorilla. Okay. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, exper- experiments on the strength of large silverback gorillas for research. We've already read this stat. This is terribly written. Um, bone they have a bone density of five. Are designed to use their greatest energy in a way. I, don't, I know it's just like this is what? a stupid article. Oh, really here is. you go, Nadav. Here's what you get. <laughs> Nadav, find a better article. This one sucks. I like it. She's like, I want to meet Chris Larson. I want to <laughs> fuck Larson. Oh, but back to my point. Is it that the, the, the girl who looks like a, a, a porno girl becomes a porno girl? She looks like it later. Right. Like you, you can look like they, a regular girl and then you transition to be looking yes. like. Okay. Exactly. Like there's a. Okay. You're in that biz a while and then you start to transition your look to fit what you that, think the look that is, should be. Yeah. Sure. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Yep, yep, gotcha. Yep. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm shitting a scene today. <laughs> Sucks a lot of, I haven't worked with him before. I suck, yeah. Isn't it funny they call it work yeah. and scene? They call it civilians. Oh, well, yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. But we are definitely not in their world. Yeah, I know. We are civilians compared to sex workers. Jeez, Louise. Mm-hmm. That's a whole other lane. Yeah, Please. so gorilla. I could see you feeling like a gorilla, yeah. Yeah. Or, or I also feel like I'm an iguana. I just love them so much. You do like the sun. Mm-hmm. And I like to chill on warm things and I can you be like still warm. for a long time. You're like too warm. Yeah, too warm. I like to be on a rock. I'm very I was lizardy. in the car that you were in and it was 89. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The temperature in the car was 89 degrees. It was like a goddamn sauna in there. It feels so good. <sighs> Way too warm. It's cold outside. Yeah, but that's a little, I mean, I was like, ha ah. Well, you know, it's wintertime. It's cold as shit now. You know what that means. What? Cuddle season. Please. 
It's cold as fuck. Please. You can't claim to be too hot right now. You cannot say that it's I hot. I slept with the, uh, the, the sheets off of me last night. It was 68 degrees and the room was freezing. No, it wasn't. What was it? 72. I Perfect. Saw it. But why did you lie and say 68? Because it was the night before. The night before I remember looking and it was 68. And I, can I say something? Because I love you so much, I let it rest at 68. I did not turn it up. I was fucking dying last night. Okay, can I make a deal with you? What? If I turn the thermostat to 68, may I have a cuddle? Yeah. For how long? How long do you want it to be? Can I have uh, seven minutes? Deal. You swear? Yes. Okay. I'm going to hold you to it. Set the timer. Wow, this is really exciting for me. Oh. <laughs> Let's take a quick break. God. Hi, ladies. Ask me on tips on how to live life with herpes. <laughs> it's not that bad. How you doing, sir? This is great. Ask you want to ask any tips on how to live life with herpes? This it hasn't been a problem. Well, that's up. good. I'm glad to hear. You know, syphilis is you way worse. Than herpes, herpes. Herpes. You guys want to ask me tips on how to live life with herpes at all? No. All right. Cool. It's not that bad. You're missing out. You're missing out on a great community. <laughs> I don't know, in case, in case it does happen any point in the future. Right, guys. <laughs> I do. I have to tell them before. It's a common courtesy to make sure. Hypothetically, he, if he has herpes and you didn't know, would you still kiss him or would you ask him? It's a good question. I mean, I would kiss him, and I, but I have herpes, but he doesn't know that. And right. I, I didn't know that he had herpes until the sign. If you know what you know now, what would you have done differently? I gotta say, probably protected sex would probably be my best bet. Anything else, boss? All right, my friend. Thank you so much. You have a great day now, all right? That was so good. Do I keep going? <laughs> that was, and that's that was weird. his punishment. punishment. So, oh, that's cool. So we compete, and then the loser has to do something that the it's winner chooses. So wait, yeah. what is your plan now? You're gonna do it through your channel? I'm just gonna keep doing it. Is it, is, are the episodes up? This, so the first five are up. I'm Sorry, releasing babe. one a week. That's oh, how fun. It. And like, um, Good for you. My punishments and his punishments are different because that doesn't, that's not a punishment to me. To me, it's, it's embarrassing, funny. right? But I'd be able to fuck with somebody. Yeah. So like he hates that. That public embarrassment thing for him is huge. For me, he did things like, like I had to get a Brazilian wax and I had never got one of those. Nice. I had to get my asshole waxed. I liked it. It was, you know what I said to the esthetician? I said, um... Because when he waxed my butthole, I was like, yeah, that didn't really hurt. Really? Yeah. And I asked him, I go, do I have it a tough, really I said, do I have a tough butthole? Yeah. And he was like, what do you mean? I'm like, well, I don't want to brag. It hurts less leather than you asshole. think. The mound hurt. Like the front mound. Yeah. That yeah. hurt. And my, he also made me get a tattoo that hurt. I, I I've had, yeah, oh. You made you get a tattoo? I have a tattoo. You know, his name is Jacob. So I have a tattoo on my back that says, Jacob is my biological dad. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I found that I've had yeah. my That's back cool. waxed and my ass waxed, and the back hurts way more. Then way the, more. The, yeah. Then your, your asshole? Back get, yeah. Asshole doesn't, didn't really hurt. The really? mound hurt, yeah. and I asked the esthetician. I go, and I, the, I loved life after it. Me too. I mean, after just game changer. The wipe was so different that's what yes. being a woman's I all i want to go back I, I gotta go back are you would you go why did you do it the first time as a joke it was a joke thing and i thought it was going to be like so painful wasn't that painful then no. i was like oh wiping's a dream and i didn't do it forever and i did it again and again i was like yeah it doesn't hurt that bad and it's great to not have hair back there yeah and then it just came back and i've done it again I, I will say like i thought the butthole wax was definitely useful in the front I didn't need. I don't you had need, everything f wax in the front. Yeah, the mound, the top of the mound. That's the one that hurt the most. Like above your junk. Yeah, you mean, that's gotta hurt. That's the one that hurt the most. And what I heard was they were supposed to trim it first. Yeah. Oh, they didn't do that. No. Where did you go? Oh, I went to a place in the valley. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I grew up yeah. there, homie. Yeah. I know there was that. Yeah. Well, we were going for. Wait, the, were they yeah. Russians or Asians or Persians? Hispanic. Really? Wow. Did they even blink an eye about Wild it? card. They're like, they're like, <laughs> well, when he, so he said. Yeah, he's uh, my son. He said. <laughs> Will you well, wax my dad's dick? Here's, here was the best part. Wax so my dad's when, dick. So when we found out that the punishment was the waxing, I called my brother and I go, hey, you know, we're shooting the show today. Will you set photographer for me? Because he does TX pictures. He's like, yeah. Well, he goes, what, do you do? what am I doing? I said, I don't know yet. Just come down. So part of the joke for me was, you know, those esthetician rooms are so small. Super small. So one side had the dude doing the waxing. 
One side was the three camera, three dudes, two cameras and audio. Jesus. And in the back where my asshole was up Ugh. was my son and my brother with a oh. camera. So I'm like, he's like, what do you want me to do? I'm like, you got to get in there and take the picture. Oh. <laughs> three days later, he sent me this picture. And I said, what is that? He said, that's a close-up of your asshole in case you've never seen it before. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Did you bring I, the picture? Let's take it. I had never seen a close-up of my butthole with no hair before. Yeah. How did it, it look? It looked... Honestly, not that bad. Not that bad. Yeah, yeah, I actually was like, oh, It's a okay. little more appetizing. Way without the hair, yeah. without having to feel like you're, do you know Can I, I mean? tell you like, something? I'm so nervous to put wax on my cooch. I've never actually done it. I've really? only ever shaved. And because uh, I, one time I waxed my legs as a teenager and it hurt so bad yeah. that I'm like, I don't, and I'm pretty blondie. Like I'm, yeah. I don't have a ton of hair down there. But my asshole's smooth all the like, I'm pretty hairless, right? We got Would you say my asshole's that. pretty, there's not a lot of hair there anyway. Your asshole? Yeah. yeah. Not a lot of hair there. No. Right? No. I mean, I like how you started to rub him when you asked, just my to make sure he gave the right answer. Yeah, yeah, like... <laughs> well, how much hair is on my I mean, I think you got a few stragglers. Just a little bit of yeah. butt touch. Have you but not... ever been with somebody so who cold. had like one or two long straggler nipple hairs. I was with a woman once who had oh. one long left nipple hair. One long like one huh. Did you guys talk about it? Yeah, because when I was kissing her nipple, I did I did a couple of th because yeah. I thought it was mine. Like, like, a, like a loose yeah. yeah, and so I just gave it a little and she went ow and I was like, Oh that one's well, yours. Why wouldn't oh. she pull it out? I said, why didn't you pull that out? And she you know what she said? It gives me character. I'm like, not the no. right character. No. You don't want to be one long nipple hair character. No. Was, that, was this a one time that's weird. Oh, this no. was a one time hookup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, because yeah, if, if that's how you live your that, life, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so not girlfriend weird. material. No way. <laughs> nipple hair? You get the fuck out of here. One long one too. One. Like, like honestly, you should have just gone like and bit it off yeah. because yeah. of your like, character. Oh, yeah. What if that was the source of it? Like, if what if I pulled her hair and she died? That would have been Ooh. the shit. Uh, like you pulled a plug on her. Uh, <laughs> she deserved it. Um, stupid bitch. We got so into this right away. We didn't even intro you. Josh oh, Wolf oh, is sorry. here. Oh, Josh Wolf. Um, thanks for coming by. Thanks for having me. And we're talking about the fact that you developed and shot and did something that we're huge advocates of, which is doing your own thing. You shot a show with your son. And you're releasing it yourself. Yes. You're putting it out yourself on your YouTube channel. On my YouTube channel. And we, like I said, we self-funded it. You know, I found out a long time ago. So <laughs> I don't know if in like 2018, I thought I was going to have to stop doing stand-up. Why? Well, look, after Chelsea ended, yeah. I made a, like, I was like, I have to shed this crowd. This isn't my crowd. Uh, we don't have, not like I didn't like them, but like th this crowd isn't going to follow me forever. Because I'm not going to be talking about the things they want me to be talking about. Right. So the quicker I shed that and try to build up my own crowd, the better idea of where I'll get where I'm like where my standing is. Right. And ticket sales started to drop, and I was still getting booked, but just not making. I, and I told my I told Beth I'm like, hey, so I may have to. I'm better than I've ever been. This was the frustrating part. I've never felt more comfortable. I'm just not selling tickets, and I'm not going on the road for this anymore. Like I, I'm just not making the money for our family and I've made money as a writer and in writer's room. Yeah. So I was like, maybe I'll just have to go back to writing. I said, but I want this hour that I am doing right now, which was basically a special of mine called father, of the father of the year, mm -hmm. which was one long story about my son challenging me to a fight. Right. It, it came in and out of the story, but yeah. it was just a story about him bumping me and in, bumping into me in the kitchen and telling me he could beat the shit out of me. And which is something, did you do that with your dad? No. <laughs> did you ever go, you never got froggy with your dad? Not really. No, no. Well, my, all my kids got a little jumpy with me. Really? All of them got a little jumpy with no. me. No. And so he, uh, and so, but I was like, I love this. It feels super relatable to me. And I'm just going to film it myself and put it out there. And nobody, no, this was, before people were doing that. One so, time I went to hit my sister and he got in, in between us. And? I stopped it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any of your friends ever challenge their dad to a fight? Yeah. Yes. Right? Yeah. And they all got their asses kicked. Do you know why? Yeah. Because dads realize, like the kid wants to win, but the mm. dad has to win. Yeah. yeah. Because if you lose and your son knows he can beat the shit out of you. Yeah. You're done. It's, it's tough shit. You know, you try telling him to take out the trash. 
Yeah. He's going to be like, look, bitch, yeah. don't well, make me fuck you up again. Dads assert dominance in several ways. For instance, Ellis the other day learned that when dad's watching football, that means the football is on for five or six hours and you don't watch cartoons. Dad's watching football. Yeah. And he had to learn that painful lesson of like, we don't change the channel. I was like, well, this is on until I'm done. Yeah, dads just <laughs> watch football for hours and hours. Dads take stinky shits that permeate yes. the whole house. Dads dominate. Like when dad is eating, dad doesn't get fucked with or talked to. Like these stuff are, like that. These are very specific male yeah. rules. Yeah. They're good rules to learn. But can I ask, do you were, the only time my kids ever really wanted to talk to me was when I was taking a shit. Oh, fuck like it. nobody wanted I to know. talk to me until I was taking the door, a shit. The door, the door, knock, knock, open the jiggling. And I'm yeah. like, I'm in here. And he's like, oh, but I go, I'm in it. Go away. They always yeah. wanted to park and talk to you. Yeah, my, my kids used Just to bring in, they used to always bring in a book. <laughs> And I'm like, you want me to read? I can't tell you how many times I read Brown Bear on the toilet. Like, Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what yeah. do you see? You know what I mean? And <laughs> yeah. they're like, I'm like, this is how you want me to read this yeah. book to you? They were, they, I don't miss, how old are your kids? Four six and, and six. four. Yo, I have two grandkids older That's than so your kids. That's so wild to older me. Older than your You've kids. You've been telling so me you're crazy. a granddad for a while. Yeah, I have four grandkids, but two of them are older than your what? children. I feel like our kids never get older. Yeah. Everybody is like, I have a tea. I'm like, what is my kid gonna cry? You don't, don't. They just, they just want to snuggle. The four year old yes. wants to snuggle when you're taking a shit all the time. There is a such a difference between taking care of little kids with teenagers. You okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm taking some discreetly, and she's like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> like, <laughs> so obvious what I'm doing. <laughs> How much does your wife hate you as much as my husband hates me for these little things? Y yes, yeah. but it's mutual. Yeah. Yeah. There are certain things. There are certain things that yeah. you can't like that have happened in your marriage that from the outside, you're like, why does that bother somebody else so much? But you've either answered it or done it so many times. Like you can't do it again. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There, it's like and it, and there, I was in the airport in Florida and there was an old woman following an old dude. Mm hmm. And he was shuffling around. It's fun when you see the old couples. And the guy goes, I I can't find my wallet. And from behind him, she goes, I got it. Keep moving. And I was like, she said so that yeah. so a million. Fun. He loses his wallet every day. A million times yeah. she said that. Like she wants to, she loves him, but she also, if he died when he said that, she'd be like. It's a, it was time. Mm, it's yeah. fine. <laughs> it was definitely time. Now's the fucking time. I know. Time. I'm yeah. the seeker of the house. Tom always loses stuff. This and is I true. find your This is true. All I'm horrible at finding things. He I can't really find look. anything. But do you do what look. my son does? Yeah. He'll, he'll be like, he'll walk downstairs. He'll look in a place where he thought it was, and if it's not there, he'll go, I can't find it! Yeah. No, I think I actually look, the older I've gotten, the more I look, and I still feel like I'm not that good at it. Like, I'll flip things up, that move, and I'm like, I've looked all over this fucking place, and she's like, hold on. And then she just goes on her little fucking I find it interesting that gypsy you think mission, you're and not, she fucking finds it. That you're, you're not good at looking, at looking yeah. for things. That's gypsy. a weird skill it's not weird. to be not, good at. Well, Josh, yes. can I tell you what he does? I'm not proud of it. When he looks, he was looking through his drawer of bullshit the other day. Like, it just, you know, everyone's got their bullshit drawer. Literally, this is how he looks through bullshit. <coughs> like, he just mushes the objects around and I'm like that's not looking you're mushing I also like how you did it like a gorilla that's what he back does of, that's back what of he the does. hand he does. back of the hand you mean like dude you, you do back of, that's how gorillas yeah. touch Bro. things you know <laughs> that's what gorillas do did he watch did he were you able to see the monitor okay we just went through this thing where we we played what animal am I and oh, Tom you. goes I want to be a gorilla yeah. I'm a gorilla I feel like literally it. because of this picture though that's the <laughs> <Yeah>. picture <laughs> that's, that's what I feel like most days is. Yeah, <laughs> he's like nah, nah. That dude's got a forehead like me. Look at yeah. his forehead. Holy <laughs> nah. shit, Josh! What animal are you? I feel like you're a fast animal. You're fast. I would be a squirrel. Uh, that's a little I too could messy also see for me. Kind of swinging monkey like. No, he, he, I, he needs to have a little chill to him. They because chill. I smoke a lot of weed. I know oh. you are. You're a koala. Yeah, oh. that's it. That's it. I would have said sloth, but that's hard. a little too oh, slow. Oh, that's Chad. But koala. Pull up a koala. Yeah. He's, yeah. And it, you look like a koala a little koalas bit. Koalas get high. What what do they get they high off the of? The eucalyptus. Out. Eucalyptus. Yeah. But I also think they're well known to have a lot of chlamydia. Oh. Yes. When I, when I was in Australia. Yeah, they, yeah. In the wild, they do. 
It's Why? so weird that people in Australia warn you. Don't yeah. get chlamydia. I'm like, you think I'm going to fuck but, a koala? Yeah, like, they, they, but you learn that they tell you that it's a different strain than the human strain. So it's not transferable. But I would, they, the big joke there is like, because that's uh, what I was told. They're like, they keep, you know, you don't want to fuck them. And I'm like, I will, yeah. 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 Thanks and for the then, warning. And then someone's like, actually, you can fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> actually. Don't, li- yeah. don't listen to them. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to get them. They just slip you a note. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. You're fine. You're, it's you're, cool. you're good yeah. to fuck the koala. You're fine. Wait, I, did they get it from fucking each other? Yes. It's like sexually transmitted? Yes. Okay. But yeah. it's a koala chlamydia. It's koala chlamydia. It's, it's not, not a yeah. human chlamydia. Yeah. I, but like, huh, that's who cool. is the one who finds out that you can't get it? Oh, do you know what so I mean? Yeah. Someone's fucking a koala. Somebody came back from the wild and was like, hey. Everybody was like, Somebody's yeah. fucking them. Yeah. I mean, they're cute. I they guess are. if I was going to have sex with an animal, I'm not sure that's the one. No, but. that's not the one. That's it's not, not the seductive. One? No. You need an animal that's seductive. Uh, oh, the female skunk, Pepe Le Pew's girlfriend. Oh, with the tail up? Yeah. Just strutting that ass. <laughs> strutting that ass. <laughs> strutting that <laughs> ass. <laughs> strutting that Oh, what about, well, Jessica Rabbit wasn't actually a rabbit. but You know who's looking for a Bugs girl? Bugs Bunny's girlfriend was hot. Oh, yeah, she was hot. You know who's yeah. looking for a girlfriend right now? Yeah. I didn't show you this yet, but... <laughs> Yo, what's up? I'm looking for a female rapper that oh. lives here in Pueblo. What was the name of that? That wants to record some music with me. So yeah, and get at me. Cause I'm home all day. All right. <laughs> and everything. And plus, <laughs> we could do some video shoots too. Video shoots too. Oh, video shoots. What for music, you, for, music. Oh, for music as well. At the end, long pause, long pause. So, uh, that's all, right. all I gotta say. So, peace out. Okay, that's all you gotta say. That's all I gotta say. First of all, he didn't have to say he was home all day. No. I think that was implied have. by. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very cool. But I want. I have so many questions. Is this a dude that so you've many. seen a video from before? Uh, first time, first time, first time call. I'm pretty curious now. Long about, time, first time. Yeah. yeah. Because is this? I, I'm not sure if Mock Turtleneck is his best move. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Man. I don't, he looks like he's been hitting them shrugs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's his rap name, Shruggy G. I yeah, know, man. That's yeah. a oh. weird. But I don't know if I go. If you don't like have a, a neck, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mock Turtleneck is not your. That's I'm not looking for a female but, rapper. I'm but, home all day. Yeah. All day. Also, we can shoot videos, and he's like two, three, four for music. <laughs> I know. Why did he hesitate so long? I wanted to make it clear. I I wonder. I'm so curious if he got any takers. No. <laughs> oh. No. No. You don't Promise. think there's somebody for you? Don't think somebody out there is like maybe? I'm trying to rap too. It's, Someone's got to be. Some girl is desperate for showbiz. Here's, right? no, yeah. here's the thing, though. Yeah. It's it just shows you how important marketing is. If he was like even in a music store, yeah, like there's just keyboards behind That's him. So true, Tom. And he shot the same video. He was like, "Yo, I'm looking for a female rapper in this." So area. true. That alone, someone would be like, "This dude is he a producer? He's just out with trees and shit." Yeah, and he's just so like, true. He does I'm here look all like, day. You know, it looks like his mom said, "Don't make those videos yes. in the house yeah. anymore." Yeah, stop that. Yeah. So he went out in the, yeah. front, that, in the front yard. And I'm yeah. sure if a female rapper or anyone came over, they'd be like, "So where's your setup?" And he was like, "Well, let's just." Let's just spit game right now. Oh, no. like he would it would there would be nothing to record with. And there's no sidewalk. That always bothers me. Yeah. I, this I is not there's no sidewalk. I also He did like, this all wrong, which is why he's on the show. Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> I would also say that like, you know, you have to if you're gonna be a rapper and rap is all about, you know, yeah. your words and how yeah. smoothly you get things out of your mouth. This was a very choppy yeah. very choppy. Right. I think though he's looking for a female rapper. Maybe he's like, I am a producer. Oh. You know, maybe he's like, that's my strength. Producers are weird. I know a few of them. They're weird as fuck. I yeah. think he needs so, a chain. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think that has to be a long ass rope to get around. <laughs> <that night. laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now He'd take it off his bicycle. Yeah. Yeah. Just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a fucking neck on my neck. Yeah, well, I was thinking from a fashion perspective, how would you mask that neck issue? I mean, that shirt is like a specialty shirt. Not, that's not a regular t-shirt. No, that's a leg hole. That's a, yeah. Those are yeah. legs. 
That's a, but that's but, a, those are pants. Those are bike yeah, pants. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you go yeah. like open collar, yes, button down, you, open collar, 100%. long, narrow chain to yeah. a long gate. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's, and white is tough for. That's why I'm that. saying like anything, but it takes like a Tom Cruise-y, crazy kind of a cult leader to pull off a mock turtleneck. T- Tom Brady. terrible. You know, you got to be a super villain terrible yeah or, or like didn't bill gates wear them or like one of those nerds yeah didn't, didn't one of the nerdy guys billionaires wear them i think it was steve, steve, jobs. steve jobs was into steve the jobs mock. wore it every day by the way a couple of these guys they were like if you just have a uniform it's like um it's one less thing you have to think about I every agree. day so Didn't they did they uniform. all like uh, some of them like he did that zuckerberg did that where it yeah. was like gray t-shirt blue jeans every day you know yeah. Did you, when you first started doing stand up, I did. I had in my brain, like the first three or four years, three years probably, this is what I'm, I wear on stage. Yes. Oh, yeah. What was, I'm so curious, what was your, Sounds I decided vest. I went vest, leather jacket, and you know the hat that Rocky wore in the first Rocky? That's a good look though. Ponytail. Ponytail. Okay, do you have a, is there a headshot <laughs> somewhere we can find? Yeah. Um, I can no, probably send no, it to no. you. Look Wait. up look up his old headshot. That kind of hat? Yeah. That, that, the fedora? Is yep. that what that's called? Yeah. Kind of? Yeah, it was kind of like fedora. That's, that's right. That's a good hat. Yeah, but it looks so much better on him. I have a long, thin face with a giant forehead. So those hats really rest on top of my head. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. it's not a great... And anything besides... You probably a look like a musician, right? You probably look very musician I looked like somebody who was sick. Yeah. So let me see it. Could you, could I, you find Josh Wolf headshots? Just go, Google. Um, Josh yeah, I looked, Wolf. It was not a good, but it was kind of around headshots. dice yeah. time. There it is. <gasps> oh, oh wow. yeah, dog. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this one so here. Good. Look at look it. So good. But Holy look. shit, man. You look cool, though. Yeah, you look great. You're so East Coasty looking. This is the one, the Blake Shelton. That's the unfortunate. Oh. That's you? But the, the, the one on the left. And so I, oh by the way, that's God. that shirt I got with my structure card. It was the first, credit, yeah. first credit card that's I ever got. It's a structure shirt, right? It was 100% a structure shirt. It was a yeah. $250 limit. And I went in and I'm like, get I, that. I was like, this is Let's my comedy structure. shirt. <gasps> Did you have a structure car? I don't know about a car, but I definitely shopped there. Oh. I thought that was like a cool store, man. I was, yeah. Ch- structure was one step up from Chess King. Yeah. <laughs> Chess King. Chess King. Do you remember? It's My brother used to work at Chess King, and he he was like, he came home one day with that. Remember that's the tie that had the bar you. underneath yeah. it? Yeah. Yes. That's a huge deal. Yeah. Oh, you look I, good in a hat. I will say, yeah. I think the Rocky hat is not a bad look for you. I you really pull it off. No, I think you're good with hats. This year, I think. Super cute. I want to go no hat. That's a great headshot. I always like that one with the Puma I was trying and to the get, Blues. Trying that's to get good. Free shit. No, that's such a good Thank you. look for you. What was your guys when you guys were... Oh, stop. What did you start? Everything's embarrassing. I started with, I wanted, I thought it would be, I don't have like headshots of it, uh-huh. but I remember when I would do stand up, I remember one time leaving to go do a spot and I was just like, just starting out and I, I was wearing, let's say, you know, uh, a black, a nice black t-shirt and I had a shirt on the chair that had holes in it. I was like, I got to put that on. Yeah. I switched, I put the shirt with holes in it on because I thought it was better for like the stage to be like this guy's messy he's one of us yeah like like i thought the more sloppy and messy Same. the more that the jokes that were like crude or whatever like fit the look so yeah. i was like and then one of my friends was like you know you really look like shit up there and i was like yeah thanks he was like I, it's not good <laughs> he's like you know we, we want to look at somebody presentable you're the person on stage like you should yeah. try like you don't have to dress in a suit but like you try to dress like nice to look at. Right. And I was like, oh, maybe. So I, I, then, I mean, I started to dress a little bit. Nicer. I looked like shit too. I went through a phase where I was like, the fatter and uglier I look, the better it's going to be for me. Yeah. And in some regards it was, because I was at the age where I was like late 20s, early 30s, like still cute, cute, pretty, like in that yeah. zone of like hot chick lane. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Kind of worked. And then, and then now I'm like, you know, I just, I'm a handsome woman. And I, I lean into just being like a handsome lady. <laughs> You know, I call my wife. I always tell her, I go, you're a handsome woman. She's like, don't <laughs> say that. To, oh, she I fucking it. hates it. I'm like, you get a great job. She's like, I don't like this. Is These are not compliments for me. <laughs> you're That's a handsome, handsome woman. Yeah. I am a handsome woman. I love it. But I, I mean, I don't know about you, but for me, part of marriage <laughs> is just poking you and saying things that I know are going to bother you. Of course. Yeah. 
People are like, why do you do that? I'm like, what? Do, it's fun. Why else would I have? Like, this is part of the deal. Yeah. It's like no. having kids. One of the reasons I had kids is so like I can I could fuck with I can them. Play. Yeah. I like to play. And it t- like if you ask my kids, one of their favorite things was that I fucked with them. Yeah. What did I say the I other day when we were pulling into the gate, and I made a joke and it made you laugh. Cause I was like, you didn't put your dick in it and shit all over or something. Remember, I was telling you a joke. Do you remember what we were talking about? And I was like, I knew that would get you. Cause I I know specifically. You do know specifics. How to make Tommy laugh? Yeah. Cause I, I, we've been together for so many years that I could be like, yeah, why don't you tell it to go fuck itself, or go, why don't you go put your dick in its face, and then you'll lol, or why don't you go piss on my shit or something? Like I know how to get him. What did I, what were the fuck were we talking about when we came into the gate? Remember? And I, oh man, I got you so I good. You were laughing so hard. You do you do know how to pull it out at any moment. You can you can say yeah, it and just I'd make like, me laugh. That's true. I'd Isn't like, it interesting though? Like for my wife and I too, we can. I know what's gonna make her laugh, but I she also can turn me from incredibly happy to the angriest I've ever been. Oh yeah. In about that's my gift. Half a second. That's my gift. Half a second. She knows. <laughs> she knows. She can put she, you two. She pushes the exact button. It was the best day of my life, and now I just want to mur. I want to murder somebody. Yeah, yeah, but that's that's marriage, isn't that's, it? It's, it's yeah. When you're when you've been with someone for that long, yeah. To me, if you've been with someone that long, you and you together? don't t- going on twenty years, and yeah. you don't know the button, then you don't know that person. You that don't long. know that person. What's my button? <clears throat> that coughing on me. You got a lot of buttons. Oh, I know it. Calling me crazy, or like when a woman is oh, she, mad. Beth, Beth hates that. Oh, look at all the guys in the booth. Beth they got hates that resonated. That. When when a woman's upset and you're like, calm down. Yeah. <laughs> but can I tell you? Sometimes I know I know it. And I'm like off. I'm like this is gonna be fun fuck to watch, off. and I'll go just relax. Which oh. I'm, but and, and I know relax. I know I'm just pulling the pin on the grenade and just kind of lobbing. Yeah. <laughs> You sit back. <laughs> yeah, and 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 I'm like, I'm gonna endure this shitstorm just because it's it's kind of, it's gonna be fun for just. This it's gonna be entertaining for a minute. Yeah, it's gonna be entertaining for a minute. So awful. Uh, it, but it's so. But so here's not, calm down. You're like, can oh I ask? Do, do you that, ever? Oh yes, you do. You when? told me to calm down when? before when we fought. Yes, in cars, a million times. A million times. A million times. Do you well, ever you get calm the, the fuck? Down. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever do it and know your gift? Like, so Beth has started to catch up. She's like, I'm not following him. I'm not following no, him. No, really? She's like, she knows when you're trying just to fuck with her. One of my favorite things to do to her and to my kids is I repeat questions like I didn't hear it. Oh. So I'll just repeat it like three or four times. And they, it, <laughs> f- oh my God, it's such a small little thing. And I, I see that little smile that you yeah, just got. That's, that's all I need for the day. That's all I need. That's I don't need a huge prank. I just need something that entertains me for just a couple of minutes. I've been asking Ellis, our oldest, his what his name is for ye- Like every day, I want to go. Hey, what's your name again? And he's like Ellis, and I'm like. <laughs> 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 but doesn't that give you Duh. a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I don't. So I don't need the big one. Like. The big ones are fine. It's yeah. just the daily. The little ones. It's the little water yeah. torture yeah. of like, oh, that little drip's gonna, it's gonna make you snap about a month from now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like I know that that tiny little one a month from now, you're gonna be like, what the fuck? Yeah. And that long game is like one of my favorites. Or it's so fun to go up to like a kid. I go up to my four year old and I just like pinch his neck and he's like, and he can't, he can't handle it. I, I fucking, I get so much joy out of that. He's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most fun. He like collapses. He's like, ah. Do you ever play hide and seek and make them go hide, but never got to try to go find oh, them? Oh yeah. Ugh, yeah, always a good game too. And I go, I looked fucking everywhere, yeah. man. Yeah, Where go, go okay, like, go, go hide again. Closet. Go hide again. Yeah. I'll try to find you again. It's that a good way to get. That like, traumatizes kids, you know that. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> to hide and never be found. Yeah, I think that's like one of their primal fears. <laughs> My yeah, we'll work it out. Yeah, it's fine. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. It's we'll fine. work it out. It's fine. They're fine. Forget I said that. They're good. I, 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 that's why, by the way, these little this thing that I'm doing with Jacob, the uh, the way it's played out, and the relationship, you know, that relationship of messing with each other. Yeah, yeah it's fun. That's how this is played out, and it is what I try to explain to people because w- w- I've grown kids. Yeah, you know, they don't talk about. 
when you cut the crust off their peanut butter sandwich, mm. they don't talk about the perfect tuck in. They're like, you remember that time? That's what, when your kids get older. And you, you fucked know, with them or yes, something? Yeah. Or they fucked with you or something went wrong. You know, for those of you who are trying to make your kids' childhoods perfect, that's not what they remember. Oh, that's great. not what they talk about when they come around. They talk about the fun things, the off schedule. They talk about when you fucked with them or you they fucked with you or the weird thing that happened on vacation. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's what they get around and talk about. And so I, I, I guessed right. It could, it could have been wrong, but but the, you, like, if you're trying too hard to make sure your kid's childhood is perfect, or not, that's not doesn't what, matter. No, you can't be perfect no. anyway. You know what? Also, like your idea of perfect parenting. I think what I wish I had known this when I was when they were younger, because I you second guess yourself. But every choice you make, right? So say you want your kids. So some people's kids are what I would consider overscheduled. Yeah. However, I agree. however, I don't like that shit. there are positives and negatives for every decision you yes. make for your kid. The overscheduled kids, yes, they're really good at yo sit down here, be for an hour, sit down here for an hour. This is when this is, this is when this is, and they're good at that. But you throw a little wrench in the, and they don't know what to do. Yeah. My kids, they can flow with everything, but they're not good with the structure. Right. So there's a negative, like it. Do yeah. they work in things that are unstructured now? So, <clears throat> Jacob. It does, has started doing this with me, and um, but he was in like uh, production, and he was that's kind oh, of right? flowy. That's, it's yeah. kind of flowy, right? Yeah. So they're not. My oldest son was in the military, and he oh, wow, that's super structured, super structured. But he's not in the military anymore. Okay, um, but there's things like Jacob can flow with anything. But you put them in something structured. It just depends on what you value as a parent. Yes. So that, to me, I stopped thinking of right and wrong in that way it's like whatever you want your kids to have yeah and also too it's like what are they inclined towards mm -hmm. and lean into that direction because you can try to force a kid to learn piano and if they just fucking hate it or tennis remember when ellis oh, was like fire God. me fire me i don't want to do this we're like okay what am i going to do i yeah. can't make him you know Boris Becker. It's not or whatever. It's not going to fucking happen. Yeah, no. it's not going to happen, and he doesn't enjoy it. So who's it I for? I don't believe in making the kids Him do or things me. they don't enjoy. I agree. Yeah, no. I, 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 but there's no point in that. Life is going to give them plenty of those things. Yeah, I know. The, life's going to give them plenty of shit that they don't enjoy doing. Yeah, I do feel like though, if we like, if he asked to sign up for some thing, that's different. You have to stick with that. Absolutely. I agree with that. Like, you know, he tried tennis. He's like, Absolutely. I hate it. I'm like, I'm not gonna make you go back to tennis. No. You don't like it. Then be done with yeah, it. Yeah, Jacob played one year of soccer when he was seven. Yeah. Played the whole year. After the last game, he took off his jersey. He handed it to me and he said, I'm never playing that sport again. And I was like, you don't like it? He said, I hated this whole year. Wow. Okay, well then. And I was That's like, the yeah. first time he told you? First time he told us the Jesus. entire year. Mm. He, and, he, and then he was like, where are the Capri Sun? I'm like, over there. Yeah, and that was it. But Ellis, Ellis, our eldest, scored a hat trick the other, and he had three goals. And crazy, I was like, that's yeah. fucking awesome. He goes, it was easy. Was Literally, like, yeah. But he likes soccer, right. so we Does keep he? him enjoying it. Yeah. I guess, He yeah. likes it. I never, that was never he my likes it. sport. Well, that's I like it more as an either. adult. I enjoy it more now. You mean playing it no watching oh, it. watching it. Yeah, yeah. yeah i watch it more now you watch it on tv depends i like watching the super high level stuff like oh. i like watching la liga you know premier league stuff like big matches they're fun to watch because you're watching just like such elite players i think super elite players in almost any sport can kind of get me to check something out do you gamble at all um uh, not on sports not on sports Started i'll do like Jack. card card stuff I, I, it. we moved to vegas grand. and yeah. i I'll come see you. Yeah, it's that that trip down the street. It's twenty minutes. Yeah, but you uh, live twenty minutes from the strip. It's oh dangerous. Oh my god! It's, What's your game? What do you like? I I like um, craps because I like the communal. Yeah, that's fun. That's I like fun. the and I just started getting into pie gal. Oh. Really? So my uncle, who's a huge, he loves to gamble. He was like, "You ever play pie gal?" I'm like, "Nah, I don't." You know what I mean? I just yeah. think of Joe Coy and his friends walking into a casino, and I'm like, hey. you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, <laughs> I used to tell him when he toured, I was like, you touring with the Pie Gal Poker Group, or who are you touring with right now? <laughs> but, um, so I, 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 but he was like, it's fun because you can play, and your money, you can win a lot of money, but your money doesn't go as fast. Fast, yeah, yeah. And so 
I kind of like that being able to sit at a table and do that. When you do craps, do you do? I'm gonna go take a the fish. Entry crap. level, in other words, you know, come pat, you know, the the, the just the simple Pretty basic. Okay, you don't do like all the side bets and all that. Every now and then. I will throw in, you know, a snake eyes bed or something like that. But I stay pretty basic. You know what I like? I know what I like, dude. I like, I like the community. Yeah, the community. Yeah, People I love fired that. Up. Yeah. And the and then you just keep seeing them fucking yeah. push stacks over to you. Like, what's going on? Man? Half the time when I win, I'm like, did I? Was that did me? I win? I don't ever know what's happening. Yeah. With <laughs> I haven't done it much. I also will, honestly, what's fun for me is like, I'll find like a couple of old women with oxygen tanks smoking a cigarette on the slots and I'll just sit next to them and I'll ask them their advice. Like there's a strategy for slots, but they have it. And those, because oh, I know my old lady fucking not this one. My mom, she plays slots nonstop has nothing better to do than to give you advice and is a fucking loser. <laughs> like is a, but what's the strategy? This is what I don't. What do you she, mean no, strategy? She'll be like, You're not. This is a bad. This, this, is the this woman. doesn't pay. Yeah, that's my mom. That's the woman. But with the yeah. oxygen tank. Well, she doesn't oxygen, but she'll be like, "You need to move." And you're like, "Whatever you're doing yeah. doesn't work." So yeah. I should do the opposite of whatever you say. First of all, if you're paying playing penny slots, get I mean, out of here. Yeah, you've already. This I'm not listening to you. No, this is not. And not even max betting. I'm yeah. like, so if you do hit something on this cheap ass slot. You're going to get a minute. She'll do that. So she'll like play, play, play. And then she'll be like, oh, it's all this. And it's like 28. She's like, oh, I won $28. I'm like, yeah, because you're betting five cents five a cents. spin. Let me ask you a question. My my cousin Hate used it. to be a, was an actor. He used to be on a show called Party of Five, right? He was making some pretty good, at the time, TV money. Yeah. I remember going to Vegas. And we used to gamble. And when he was making money, he wasn't gambling. And I said, why? And he said, the truth is, in order for me to make enough money for it to matter to me, yes, I would have to be willing to lose that money, and yeah. I'm not. Uh, it makes sense. And he said, that's it. He said, I still love it, but if I win $1,000, he's like, I really don't. It's not don't. exciting. Yeah. yeah. He was like, it's not exciting. And the money that would excite me to, I don't want to lose that money. Yeah, that makes sense. Does that? Do you have that at all? Yes. Yeah. Right? Right? Because- right, in let's, let's do this before she gets back. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, right. In order for you to- be excited about a certain amount of money that's a, at this point a chunk of change well i can get i can get a rush from not a life altering amount of money right but it is true that like losing 100 or winning 100 i'm just like okay i like it to be more yeah so that when it hits you're like yes and then when it hurts you're like fuck like you got to have that it doesn't have to be crazy money for me but i do find that you build momentum and yeah. you start you start Raising the stakes. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I will say that. Yeah, church is great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take the kids there. Everybody prays. Yeah, yeah. I don't go much anymore. I'm Jewish. Yeah, but, yeah, 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 yeah. Same, I same, same. I know what you guys are doing. <laughs> I, I will tell you, I've, I've liked Vegas more than I thought I was going to. Yeah. So, twenty minutes outside of Vegas. Are you gambling a lot? Are you going and gambling a lot? Of course. Okay, so 20 minutes outside of Vegas is the quietest, most chill place yeah. I've ever lived. It's When I step outside my house- How long have you been there? We've been there since December t last year. Okay. And um, it's the most chill, the most neighborhoody, more parks, more sidewalks, any place that I've it's ever- It's like for us. It, yeah. it, I'm, I'm, I was blown away by how quiet. Now, the it, these are the first, I think, real coyotes I've ever seen. Wow. He healthy you know the coyotes in la are very methy yeah, yeah. you know how they're skittish yes, and, they, and, yeah. and shitty and they mangy and you know how like yeah. uh, they're you know hollywood how, like, coyotes. they almost run sideways yeah you know uh -huh. that weird kind yeah. of like accordion these coyotes look like um you familiar with that cartoon balto like mm. that big wolf looking th th they are healthy 80 pound oh healthy no mange uh-huh and they big. Yo, know, I have a half pit, half American bulldog. And I was walking at eight in the morning and I turned behind me, not kidding, no more than 20 yards. There was just a coyote following us up the path. Damn. Now in LA, those little methy ones, yeah. they're scared of you. Yeah. We stopped and turned around, which was, a, and he just stopped and stared at me. I threw a rock at him. He didn't move. move wow. Yeah. And I was like, <clears throat> oh, shit. I'm not coming back here tomorrow. Did you no. see that video that Hunter posted? of 
the bobcat approaching him and he pulls his gun and shoots at it and the thing just keeps walking towards it you're like holy shit did you see the one recently of the bear and that dude with the bear spray no the bear is running in and out of the woods following this dude these these videos amaze me and the bobcat one fucking freaked me and he stays recording that's that's what amazes me you know what amazes me you know what shows you know what tells me i do not have the life instincts that these i would have jazz handed and screamed and started running drop your phone and use both hands on the pistol something oh with a gun for sure yeah he has a but he's going one-handed so he can record that's crazy so i'm not that's not i'm not on board for that no way have i been gambling more than i should probably nice Pro- probably like nice. a lot of times i have friends that come to town and i'll be like hey i'm gonna go down and see tom yeah. and i'll drive and i'll see a show and i'm like you know i should stop in the casino yeah, of course. real quick well, here we go is this, this it this is it yeah this it's is holy so cool. you're back look at this look at this thing uh-uh. this thing is like who are you what are you i haven't eaten yet today this is freaky. Stays recording. Nah, dog. All right? Got it. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Yeah, he's like, hmm. He's like, yeah. That was you missed, bitch. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't even, like, freak freak out, though. No. I think you got to sh- actually try to hit him with the... Did he barely flinch? The, yeah. The thing was like, yeah. Try again, asshole. Look at him. He's like, all right, I'll go home. Bye. Yeah, he didn't really, like, scurry that away. Was... Lacks I don't that breath. I don't think I <gasps> Dang, dude. have any confidence walking out that that cat has stopped stalking me. Oh, I know. No way, Jose. No thanks, Tom Hanks. Yeah. Ooh, that's a new one. Yeah. <laughs> no way, Jose's out. You no thanks, say, Tom Hanks. I tell my kids to say no thanks, Tom. Yeah. Hanks. What about Chet Hanks? This is he's, the bear one. He's rad. This one. Oh, oh my cool. God. Terrifying. He's got spray. That shit don't work against a bear. What the I mean, fuck I is in it, that spray? This, this, like. Well, he's doing the right thing. You're not supposed to turn and run. But, but how, it's so difficult. Not oh, of to. course, of course. But so, that is definitely how you get chased down. By yeah. running and, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, running yeah, and yeah, making yeah, yourself yeah. the prey. Yeah. It just, it'll just trigger it. It'll just be like, here we go. But you like, know. you know, I, I did a, um, I hosted yeah. a show on Shark Week for a couple of years. Yeah. You did? Yeah. And I asked That's cool. one of the photographers. Yeah, so did that keep going? Does that keep going? Yeah. I asked one of the photographers. I'm like, what do you, like, you're the one with the camera. What's the deal? And he yeah. said, they say, if the shark's swimming at you, your best bet is to turn and swim at the shark. At the shark. I've heard this too. He, he said, because in the ocean, nothing swims at the shark. So it may give you just a second where the shark will swim away and be mm-hmm. like, wait, wait, what's going on? And then before it comes back, you can swim back. Jeez. So there was a dude, Andy, I can't remember his last name, but he basically films all the Shark Weeks. Have you had a guy named Paul DeGelder on here? Mm-mm. Paul is a shark attack survivor. He lost one of his arms oh, and one of his oh, legs look, in a shark running. attack. Hold on, hold yeah, on. This, this dude is, he's like, <laughs> look at me, I'm, I'm, I'm playful. I'm in a tree. Yeah. Very cute. I... Why not? Why aren't we just spraying this <coughs> bear right now? Does he ever spray it? He's about getting ready to, yeah. I would think. Go to where it's, yeah, hi. Oh, oh boy. Shit, dog. Yeah. Oh, dog. The fact that they can attack from the air, like a, that doesn't look like it should be able to climb a tree. No. How be- can it? Better right. than me. Yeah. How is that possible? Dude, he's so big, so heavy. He can climb a tree. Uh, what I don't like. Get away. Yeah, yeah this is one really I, close down. This is too close. This is where you start spraying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. yeah he did it finally. What? Oh, Why? Well, I, I think I would have done, tried that a little earlier on in the Way encounter. Earlier? Do you know what I mean? Ten like minutes ago? right when I saw yeah. the bear, I'd have been like, you know, I got this bear spray. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I brought this. Yeah. God damn. And he said, the problem with the shark thing is that sharks are really a. Their sneak attack, mm-hmm. like they they go underneath you and then they come straight up like a missile. Yeah, and that the thing you're supposed to do is swim straight back down at him. Mm-hmm. And if that if you see a shark, he's not stalking you. Oh, which is the scary thing. That's terrifying. Uh. But he said he at one time just swam straight back 
and the shark veered off and he swam back up. He said, but your instinct is not to do that. I swam with sharks and the guy told me, it'll probably bump you first. Don't let it bump you again. It bumps you the first time just to check if you're prey. He said, but if it comes back a second time, it thinks you're, you're so you got to punch it in the nose. I'm like, yeah, there's a thing that I've seen the, uh, um, a shark expert d say exactly that when a shark is swimming towards you, if like, if it's really close, swim towards it, you can actually tap it on top of its nose. Yep. And also that all sharks, like large sharks, I guess, before they bite, the moment before they bite, their eyes roll back. So they're actually blinded for the second before they bite. Huh. Right? So if you even if you watch like a great white come out of the water and when they're feeding it, as it comes out of the water, that moment right before it clamps, you see its eyes go back. So they're they're blind for a moment, you know. I mean, obviously in that situation, you're gonna be fucking so panicked, panicked yeah. out of your mind. Yeah, and but. by the way, what am I gonna be like? Oh, you can't see. Oh, uh, that's it. Yeah. You're just done. I, I that show that those that show I learned more like in Santa Monica. The guy was like, "You've been." In, I go, I'm kind of nervous. He goes, well, have you been in the water in Santa Monica? I go, yeah. He said, up to your waist? I said, yeah. He goes, well, then you've been within three feet of a shark. And I was what? like, no way. And he was like, 100%. Ah. <gasps> that was the last time. The Pacific. Man. I learned more. I, I also did on that sound on, on Discovery. That was on Discovery. <clears throat> I did a show called Naked After Dark, where it was the after show for you Naked did? and Afraid. Oh, I love and that. So you were a contestant, you're a host. I was a host. Okay. And so one of the things we did on the show is I thought it would be fun because you know they eat weird things. I said, I'll eat something that they ate every episode. And one of the episodes I ate with Michelle Beadle. Do you know who Michelle yeah. is? We she ate, NFL stuff. Yeah, we yeah. ate a live cockroach. Oof. Oof. How's it taste? It it wasn't as bad. So they gave me three options. So they said, you can eat one of three things. Either they were maggots, and I'm like, I'm out on maggots. No. I've, I've eaten baked maggots. It tastes like popcorn, to tell you the truth. Mm. Um, there was this caterpillar, like a light, almost like a, like a Harry Potter blue, like a magical blue, thick caterpillar, and these giant cockroaches. And I said, it's between these two. And he said, okay, the caterpillar, the problem is it's filled with, like when you bite into it, it's going to, the liquid's going to shoot into the back of your throat. And Ugh. I'm like, nah. Oh, God. Yeah, like I can't. I said, what's the deal with the cockroach? He said, it's going to be the cleanest thing you've ever eaten in your life. And was it? I said, why? He said, they're farm raised. They only eat organic food. Oh. I'm like, yeah, but they're in a bin they're together. Like, they piss and shit all yeah. over each other. He's like, yeah, that's the one part. I'm like, well, that's a pretty big thing. Yeah. yeah, it's disgusting. But it was, it was gross because I knew I was eating a cockroach. It's, it's online somewhere. But it, it it was but it didn't taste it exploded in my mouth which was kind of gross. That's kind of gross. That was kind of gross. But uh, is it earthy tasting? Yes, that's a great way to put it. Like dirt. Yeah, kind of dirty. You know when something doesn't really taste like anything. Yeah. Yeah. You would, I would assign it earthy, but it was so gross because there was a little wiggle. You know when you, you it was alive and squirming. because I forget when you a cockroach you can cut in half and that it still moves. Ugh. So you really had to, it was pretty yeah. gross. That's yeah, gross. That's yeah. disgusting. Uh, I learned that day that I'm a bit of a whore. Yeah. They were like, will you eat it? On? I'm like, no. Nah. And they were like, live TV? I'm like, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll do no. it for live TV if people are watching. You know, it's so funny because you do stuff for television. It doesn't feel real. Yeah. And you're like, I can't get hurt. I'm making a television show. Like, you can. You can, uh, you can die. I was on, a, I was on um, uh, My Name is Earl, and my character died. In one of the episodes, mm -hmm. you guys know Garcia. Oh, of yeah, course, he's, he's the been best. on the show. So Garcia is him. one of my oldest friends, dude. Yeah. He's Aww. such a good, good guy. He's the he best. Awesome. By the way, for a guy in that city to achieve what he's achieved and to stay true to who he is, yeah, yeah. he doesn't do shit for the money. He he won't. He's so unpretentious. He's so great. <laughs> it, right. It's great yeah. too. Like almost an upsetting degree. Yeah. 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 <laughs> because honestly, like this. And, and I don't, I don't mean, he hates people talking about him, but if you think about the amount of shows that he's pitched to the amount of shows that have made TV, like usually if you had a one in 10 success rate of pitching a show to getting it on air, that would be That's amazing. That's incredible, yeah. He had four in a row. It's crazy. You know, I, and I'm going to so tell a story so that talented. I could be wrong about and he'll hate me. Yeah. But I remember when he was talking about pitching Raising Hope. 
and raising hope he was like i'm just gonna pitch it and i'm gonna have it in the pilot the mom's gonna die right and she's in jail and he he was like i i have this deal and um i'm not sure i want to get back into a day-to-day thing so i'm gonna pitch exactly what i want but there's no way they're gonna buy this the mom dies yeah and he was like they bought it in the room wow but that that's the kind of God, he's so talented. He's so yeah. he's, he's such so a good, good storyteller and story writer, and he's a good person. He cares about his friends a lot. Like, he, he's just a good dude. He's he so also funny. like is a master at showing you people that you relate to. Yeah, but writing and in a in in a vernacular that isn't above anybody's yeah. pay grade. Yeah, but his jokes stay smart. Yeah, right. So he makes the people relatable, and he makes their vernacular relatable, and he elevates the jokes. I don't like mm-hmm. him. Yeah, fuck yeah. that guy, right? Yeah, yeah, fuck him. Fuck him, exactly. Like he, he, he and he I don't knows like his face. He's listen. I will tell you, his face with that beard. God, did you see him when he got in that bike accident? No. no. Oh yeah, he got all he got all fucked he, up on that. Yeah. At the beginning of COVID, he was riding his bicycle. That's everywhere. right. Oh yeah. He has like a real conquistador kind of look, you know, because he is actually Spanish. I still don't believe it. I know, but he has that. I'm fifty fifty on you. Yeah, when he has the beard. Like right there, yeah. That guy has killed so many. <laughs> fucking, to the left, this, look at Dayton. Greg Garcia. This yeah. guy killed <laughs> half of Bolivia. Yeah, when he has that look. But this one to the left in the striped shirt. Can yeah, you that I don't recognize at all. That's that's I know. that's that's date Greg right there. That dude yeah. has roofied eight people. Yeah, I don't recognize him at all. Yeah, you can see his teeth. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen his teeth like that ever. I've never seen him without big beard. Actually, I you have it. I've never seen him like that. No, man. He he and I. The very first the that show guy? that I developed in LA was with him. We he was under he had a he was a young writer. He just came off a show with Royale Watkins. Uh-huh. What's it called? Built to Last, maybe. And um, 20th Century had given him a deal. I met with him. I had just become. I was just into being a single dad, and I sat with him, and we were like, "Let's write." He's this. an idea machine, dude. He really is. Yeah. I they. Ended up passing on Greg and giving the project to somebody who was a higher profile, who they had a bigger deal with, yeah. which f- fucked the show. Yeah, but I still have the script that he wrote, and I'm like, this is like the funniest thing. Yeah, the no. fun. Uh, but some of those guy. dudes, like he's he's like he hasn't even the show that is out right now on um, what's it Quibi? called? Is it right, qu- he has something freebie about- maybe freebie freebie, freebie yeah. Yeah, Joey, both Joey Diaz yes. and I were. Yeah. It did a, a part in that. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Freebie, Freebie? Joe Diaz came and did a guest set with for me in, in Sprung. Sprung. Jersey. Sprung. Sprung. That's right. In Jersey. He, he's like, first of all, he gets standing ovations when he walks onto the stage. On stage, yeah. Oh, when he walks <laughs> onto the stage. Yeah. But he's, you know, I started with him, right? Yeah. With him and Brody. Seattle? It was in Seattle. And I would tell you, like, I remember watching those guys. Okay, when they first started, both of them had this in common. When they told jokes, they bombed. When they went <laughs> off script, they murdered. How interesting. Yeah. Brody, the first time we ever saw Brody snap. <laughs> watching him snap. <laughs> was, the, yeah. was the absolute best. Yeah. So he was telling jokes and they were bombing in a way that only he could bomb. Nobody has ever in the history of comedy bombed like Brody. Yeah. But he he goes, guys, I don't think you understand. I've had a rough night. And he goes, you under, do you ha- have any idea how hard it is for a single guy who lives by himself to shave his back? And he lifted up his shirt. And there were patches of hair all over his back where he just obviously couldn't reach. He goes, I have trouble spots. And the whole place just fell apart. Because I, who is this dude who's yeah. just showing us patches of hair on his back? And Joey would tell jokes that were just terrible. But when he got mad for people not laughing at his jokes, that's when it was on. Mm-hmm. It is. I I would tell you right now, and we all know the funniest people <laughs> in the world. But fifteen minutes of Joe Diaz in the OR at the Comedy Store, there's nobody. No, nobody's that's fifteen his jam. minutes. Nobody, especially if it's like just him talking. Uh, especially yeah. if it's just him talking, telling one of his ridiculous stories. Mm, no. Like there's no when he I hired him. In Seattle, um, and I was running this club, and he was like, "I need a job," and I was like, he, "I was doing this thing a on a club. Tuesday night." Yeah, I, I, um, I had he and I robbed a safe. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah, and so, but 
he 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 was working the door. He I had a fetish night, <laughs> and uh, it was Tuesday nights. The DJ he he showed up in a, a a hearse and he had all his DJ equipment in the back. It was in a coffin, all that shit, right? Yeah, I love so it. There were these two old dudes dressed like they were in um, uh, Gone with the Wind. Uh-huh. They had the parasols and everything, and they were arguing with each other, screaming at the top of their lungs. And I go to Joe. I go, Joe, you got to toss him out. He goes, one. I go, you got to toss these dudes out. He goes, these two dudes? He was like, all right. He, he walks up. He goes, hey, use two's queens. We got to go. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, what? And he started walking by. He goes, I'm really sorry, but I got I to get you out of here. And he's guiding them by their elbows. They have their parasols, and they're hitting him. Flap. No. Flap. And he's just laughing the whole way out. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and he walks him out and he goes he, mm. and he walks up to me he goes did you see those two queens beating me with their umbrellas I'm like yeah <laughs> their umbrellas yes yeah. uh, <laughs> umbrellas oh, I love him I know. we were we did San Francisco one time and he's we're at Cobb's and he's like what happened to this city there used to be real fags here <laughs> he's like there's no more fags here and we were all like oh my god yeah. and like everybody was like Waiting, for, like, yeah. going, can you say, and they're just dying. Yeah. And he's yeah. like, I'm talking about, like, Elton John, those kind of, got somebody with a with a necklace with dicks just hanging off of it, you know? <laughs> Where did they go? No one left like that here. He's right. He he's, just, like, kept going on that. We were like, so holy funny. shit. One of the reasons I think that people don't get offended is because he's so authentic. Yeah. yeah. There's well, no, it's also the shell that yeah. we're no looking hate. at, too. Yeah. yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, I yeah. don't think anyone thinks he's It's really like uh, Rickles. Yeah. Rickles could yeah. just get away with it, you know? I do, like, that type of, uh, like, when I think, uh, you ever go back and watch any Rickles? I've seen, yeah. like, yeah, I go YouTube clips and everything. Yeah. I, I am just, f- he... That style of joke writing, I wish I had. Look at that face, too. Oh, come on. So, what a great face. Big eyes. Do you know the, uh, the Tarantino story he told me? Hmm. That he, he's going to visit the set of Casino because he's in Vegas at the same time as whatever. A couple of, and they're like, and he's never met Scorsese. He's like, obviously, like a hero. So, they arranged for him to go to the set of Casino. And watch him shoot for like an hour and then have lunch with Scorsese. So he's like, I show up, they're shooting the scene. And then as we're breaking for lunch, he's like, you know, I'm, I've only done like one movie or maybe two at this point. Like he, I mean, he's, he's hot shit, but still he's like, you know, young guy. And he's like, we break for lunch. And as we're like walking Rickles, who, who knows, um, Quentin goes, Quentin, finally, a real director is here. This guy doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> finally, somebody that knows how to fucking direct. We have been, we're lost here without, uh, without a real director. He's like, keeps leaning into this <laughs> thing, you know, like, and, he, and, and Tarantino said he wanted to like hide under uh, a rug because Rickles is just keeps hitting uh, the point that like, we got to deal with Martin Scorsese. Thank God we got a real fucking director here. And he's like, oh God, I wanted to die. so embarrassing. But I mean, that's the guy who's going to do that to you. you yeah. There's nothing you can do. Yep. But that, you, you know what is every, you earn trust. Yeah. So you are, you can that's say true. whatever you want. You yeah. can. You, 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 young comics sometimes are like, how come he can say this? They've earned their yeah, trust. Yeah. 50 years the guy's been you, doing this shtick for. You, yeah, yeah, you can't be an open micer. There's just some things you're not going to get away with being able no. to say not because yet. the audience doesn't <laughs> trust you. They don't trust you. It, it's such a huge difference. But but like um, my favorite, and I'm sure you get these questions all the time, when comic young comics are like, it's almost like they're looking for a shortcut. What's the secret? It's just stage time, right? Yeah. Oh, Do you yeah. say the same thing? Always. It's just getting- No shortcuts. No, there's just getting on the stage- and seeing what doesn't work over and over, thousands and over, of times, and over and over, thousands of times. I, 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 there, I think the reason why there are so many young comics, honestly, is because the people at the top of our game make it look easy. Yeah. So That's they're like, the oh, I can fucking. He's just talking. Because you thought that at some, you're like, yeah. oh, I can do that. Yeah. Oh, he's well, just thank talking. Thank God like, for that. Yeah. Otherwise, we never would have started. Yeah. I, and then you go do Kill Tony, and you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Thank God. <laughs> Jesus. I would have I would have eaten such shit. I, I never have the balls to do that. I, oh I was God. nervous as shit. 
for them. Me too. Oh, yeah. It's horrible. Full anxiety. Full anxiety. I The last time I went, I took mushrooms before I went I like, and did it because r- roasting people isn't really my thing. No. I don't like Anyways, doing it at all. It, but like roasting first timers. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No way. I, I would have never been able. To, I remember what my first joke ever was. Oh, God. Because my parents were there. Oh, oh no. my God. Oh, my first joke wasn't terrible. My oh. mom was in the front row. And I said, hey, and I was 15. I had a mullet. I had, uh, I was wearing a white mesh football shirt. No numbers, just the mesh. Oh, no. A thick silver chain. Oh, I was full Western mass. I had my, I had my acid wash jeans tucked into my high tops. Oh, God. I looked like that dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I looked a lot like that dude. And the, on the far with the bangs. Yeah, that dude. Oh. Yeah. That's what I looked like. Yeah. And a little Kirk Cameron special for you. Yeah. The first joke I ever said was, hey, everybody, I'm so happy to be here. I'm Josh. I'm 15. I'm nervous. This is the first fucking time I'll be able to fucking swear in front of my cocksucking mom. Oh, that's funny. It was actually not a bad. My yeah. dad loved it. My mom hated it. Yeah. But but uh, the that was the first. Every other joke bombed. But I was like, oh, this comedy stuff is... Oh, my, so, my, my dad was like, "You're gonna have to find your own ride next time." My yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, but he was like, "You had to say that's what." Exactly. The next day, he was like, "Just say next time." You could have said first fucking time I could fucking swear in front of my fucking mom. You no. didn't have to say cocksucking. It was. It was. I mean, that was better. Yeah, I liked cocksucking. I, of course. <laughs> so call your own mother. Your dad just trying to make it more palatable for, for my mom. For your yeah. mom. Yeah. Yeah. You did no the right problem. thing. He's not thinking. Thank, thank you yeah. very much. I you want to watch a couple of your talks? I'd love to. Right, I've been curating these, especially for Josh. Uh, oh my god. Ooh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Is that amazing? Whoa, whoa, whoa! He didn't stick at all. He- That's it. Yeah, that was wild. Here he goes. Jump. Kabam. Oh, oh dude. Wow. You know how there? much I, I know. He had, first of all, so I'm surprised that, that we didn't get air. more ass crack on his way down. Oh, at least. <laughs> That's a big time Burt move. He would have done the same shit, man. Oh, I've seen Burt fall off of, of an inflatable water slide in his front yeah. yard yeah. he jumped down and he slid up and then he landed on his back on the cement oh. it was horrible it was tra- loved to terribly tragic <laughs> it was so bad by the way that's how you can tell you guys are good friends yeah because she's like that's terrible and you're like i gotta take a look at that. <laughs> it was really painful to see record that. he was drinking though it was fine it's a billy goat that this guy has as a pet watch what happens here oh i can tell you yeah. i know what's about we, to happen he's lining it up yeah i mean gonna, ow ooh. Yeah, of course. Oh, it's a hard one, dude. LOL. By the yeah. way, I want one of those. I know. That looks fucking so adorable. Cute. I, I have a friend who has goats, and he yeah. said they're fun. They shit everywhere all the, all the time. But he did say the one thing is that they like to headbutt you. Yeah. And so you might just be standing there, and out of nowhere from behind, they just come up. <laughs> beep, Boom. Yeah. yeah. And take you out. That's kind of cool. That's yeah, cute, though. That's cute as shit. Uh, I'm a diagnosed sociopath, and people always ask me about love bombing. Firstly, is it intentional? No. Not often, but sometimes it is. We tend to get bored quickly and frequently. So when we meet a new person, we're suddenly very excited by them and all our attention seems to go that way. But we don't love a real person. We create an image in our heads of you, something that you can never live up to. Once we realize this, we tend to get bored and we will discard. That's unfortunately the cycle of love bombing. So she's got a whole series where she tells you what it's like to be a sociopath. It's really cool. But why does her mouth look like it got like it's not actually her mouth? Well, she's had a lot of work done. Her yeah. mouth looks like it was like a her filter nose is over not it's her filler. natural nose. That is a it's a crazy look. Yeah. I do you ever wonder on a day to day because they have you read about how many sociopaths are in the country? Sure. Do you ever play the numbers game with like with your friends and you're like, mm. I mean, you have friends that are, yeah. Don't you? Oh, comedy, yeah. I mean, a hundred, show business, yeah. Please, also executives, so agents, a managers, hundred yeah. percent. In our business, I think there's. I mean, you see it dead in the eyes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. What's no, no, this? no, 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 no. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Oh. <laughs> What Just the fuck? Ate a bunch of cockroaches off Dude, the wall. Dude, that was horrible. Well, but uh, there you wasn't like even that? a I dare you. No, nah, he's like, watch this shit. Watch this, this is some shit, shit he's done before. You, you'll watch, watch this shit. Oh, what's the grossest thing you've ever eaten live? <sighs> what's the grossest thing? Live? Have you eaten anything live? I can't really think of anything. <laughs> Have you done bugs at all? Have you done the cooked bugs? No. 
Baked bugs? I, no, I'm not, in, no, I'm not, I'm not interested. No, I'm not bugs. I mean, like cow brains Meat, and blood yeah. tongue, sausage. You know, I mean, obviously, yeah. Snake, but cooked Tongue can be kind of gross. I didn't really like I it. I think tongue is super gross. I didn't Alligator. Like it. The last time I had brain, it made me shit in my front yard. Yeah. I, I, my, I was running into the house, and Beth goes, you're not, you're not doing that in the house. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, I know what's going to happen. You're not doing that in the house. I'm like, well, where the Shitting? fuck? Shitting? It was about to be an explosion. And she, she knew which bathroom I was running for. She was like, that's not happening. Don't do that in that bathroom. And I didn't have time to fuck about. So I ended up shitting on the side of the house. And I was leaning up against the side of the house. And my do- I remember that my dog walked around the, the back. He walked around the corner and saw me. And he looked at me like. Are you doing this? Yeah, thing? yeah. Is this yeah. way? Are you, are you doing this now? Yeah. And I, I, it was a terrible shit on the side of the house. Oh, oh. No. But she was like, yeah, don't. She'd rather you shit on shit the side on the of the side house. side of the house. She was like, I, I don't want that. I, because she's like, you're not going to clean the toilet. Yeah. So, oh, that's true. The you're whole not. thing is going to be a mess. That's true. That is true. You know, you're, it, it's not going to go straight. It's going to splat. And she was like, I know what's happening. Oh, Do that outside. Gosh. Yeah. Good call. Yeah. Did you yeah. hose it off? <laughs> yeah. She knows. Yeah, she knows what's going to happen. Did I'll, you hose it? Yeah, I washed it down. That's just a pet, whatever, <laughs> cheetah. Isn't a pet cheetah? Jesus. I'll your belly. That's fucking insane. Why, what's the obsession with wild having wild know, animals dude. as pets? That is a cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> I just I love these. Well, I don't think she liked it. Then like it. But how do you get a cheetah? I, do, all Florida. we see are more and more videos of this all the time. People are clearly <laughs> getting them somehow. But Texas like, and Florida, they have them. <clears throat> I've heard Joe Rogan talk about it. Remember, he's like, they have the greatest number of pet tigers and lions it's in texas bro like is i've it, heard him say it is it terrible that i want <laughs> and this tr- cheetah no. to maim this dude oh oh yeah. no no that's that's a good that's a natural instinct yeah I, when yeah. i see somebody with a tiger i'm like man i hope this ends with the tiger winning yeah this makes no sense to me it's it should it should end that way every these, i wish these videos went on to just bloodbath yeah i yeah. know you, you, like you know those by the way i Thank you for being on my list of people that I can send those gross videos to. Oh my god, <sighs> you send the grossest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah by the way, you are yeah. one of three people that I can send yeah. certain videos. You send to. wild <sighs> shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, he sends stuff that's been in the heavy segment. Oh, very cool. Oh, yeah. I oh, enjoy. Cool. Yeah. I enjoy a. But you know what? You need to start finding more of legs breaking. Legs break. Yeah, he doesn't like those, so I want to get more of those. Okay, because yeah, Nadav's yeah. broken I, stuff before. Now my, yeah, it's all my trampling. I've, it's all injuries I've had, and that's what you send me. Which are the which is like like the the, the snap in half ones? I hate those. And the too. more yeah, the more with the like it's swinging a little bit. I don't I like when people land. See that guy get hit by buckle? that um, tire on a bike? He's just fucking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where? Uh, wait, are you talking about the tire hit like it? it has it got a motorcycle, him, and then oh. it comes back. No, this oh. one just kind of hits him off a motorcycle. He is done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Do people? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got some new stuff to show you. I'm gonna. I have I some stuff wait. in the phone. I'll send to you. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. I yeah. try to stagger it. I don't want to overwhelm. Yeah, yeah, it's a good way. To yeah, do I don't want to overwhelm you. Yeah, I try to. But but I I I'm have some stuff. Sociopath, and I was an absolute demon as a child. Oh. I often became a truant and then convinced other people to start being truants with me. Truant. I stole and lied consistently, and it would always get me into trouble. But I can cry on cue, and I was very little and cute, so that always helped me out. I constantly engaged in physical violence and I may or may not have pushed a girl down the stairs and then gotten her suspended because of alleged racism. Her leg was fractured, but you know, things happened to me too. Academically, I was gifted, so teachers were always on my side. I know that these were horrible things and back then I did not really know they were wrong. I just thought they were really funny and I always acted on my impulses because I was so constantly bored and (laughs) understimulated. (laughs) <laughs> you like that part, huh? Holy <laughs> Bored shit. and understimulated, yeah. yeah. I love the she's devoid dark. of emotion. Yes. It reads. You know she's not lying. She's yeah, a sociopath. Like, it reads. That is so eyes, chilling dude. to those me. The zero emotion. Yeah. She's just reciting facts. Yeah. I may or may not I may have, not have pushed somebody and she fractured her leg. leg. But, you know, things happen to me, too. Yeah. <laughs> Things happen to me too. Yeah, that yeah. is a. Yeah. I I I'm fascinated by this. She's a fun time. As I've gotten older, I've actually gotten more empathetic. Yeah, yeah, it of it's course. Natural. 
And it's also, a good thing. Yeah. two, I've learned to trust my feelings about people and situations way earlier where you're like, just trust how that, that makes you feel inside. If your stomach is reacting, if your head is, re if something's reacting to the thing, then just listen to it. Don't ignore it. That, and you know what else? The, the roller coaster of young person emotions. Oh my God. I've, you know what really helped? Like I've stopped looking at things as success and failure and I just group it all in as life. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's, there's all of it. So if I stop assigning it and I just go, well, there's going to be good and bad. Yep. And if I don't assign it either, and I'm just like, this is life, yep. and it's all part of the deal, I've my emotions have stopped yeah. riding with that yep. kind of stuff. You stop attaching meaning to everything. It's yeah. Like, Dude, it's just it's it the is. other side of the coin. That's right. It's this just is Tuesday. a happy moment. The next one's going to suck. Especially with children, you learn that lesson with the, the inherent suffering. Yeah. Children are constant suffering. We have to wrap, so I want to make sure we plug the um, oh. the the channel. It's, is it? Uh, it's my YouTube channel. It's on my YouTube channel, which is, you just go to uh, YouTube and f find Josh Wolf. I think it might be Josh Wolf Comedy. But the, the show's called Family Tussle, and this is what I would Family just- Family Tussle. Yes. This is what I would say, everybody. You know, I, 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 I pushed all my chips in on this one. Good. I, way I, to do it. I really did. It's the way to do it. And, and I will tell you, without a pause, it's the best thing I've ever done in my entire career. That's awesome. It, it, it's- <sighs> It all I when people kept telling me what it could or couldn't be and that <laughs> nobody's gonna watch it, I was I know what it is. I in my head I'm like this is entertainment. And you did something that is unthinkable now, which is you've turned down networks to yeah. keep it for years. Like you've been offered to, to be on a network, and yeah. you're like, no, I'll yeah. keep it. And that's right because creatively, look, you know the reason I call it family tussle also mm. is because next season it could be the yo next season. If you, it could be Red Sox fans versus Yankees fans. It could be you guys versus Bert and his wife. It could be it, my me and Jacob versus Joe Coy and his kid. It's family tussle. Yeah. And basically, it makes it personal and different every season. And the punishments we do, like he made me get my asshole waxed and the tattoo. But the real show is the relationship. Of man. course, it's Always. the dynamic. It's yeah. the relationship yeah. that he and I have. It's the... I, I would love it if everybody just gave it a shot. It's over on the YouTube channel. It's awesome. super funny. Well, Watch Everybody it. Congratulations watch it. on that. Thank you. And I applaud you for doing it that way. That's I appreciate you, it, man. Thank Absolutely. You, Thanks for coming by, dude. Thanks for having Thanks, me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. We'll see you guys next week. Bye, Mommy. You searched yeah. for music as you were finding your favorite song to listen to. Call me the wrong name. I mean, I've heard people just massacre. People fuck up my name. Brett. Brett. Whatever. You're fucking up. Brett Kirscher. Brett Kirscher. Brett uh, Kirscher. It just never, it never stops. Brett Kirscher. This is amazing. I hope it never this ends. Is amazing. 
Did you like that full episode of your mom's house? Are your jeans as high and tight as they can be? I doubt it. Watch some more clips, dude. Look at that one. Watch that one right here. Or maybe here. Maybe here. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you should subscribe. That way, every time a new video gets posted, you'll be notified. Stay in the know, jeans. Subscribe now. <laughs>